you guys? It's the Samar Pose. Um, I haven't been on YouTube in a while, but that is because I have a brand new network <laughs> slash channel slash two new shows that you guys need to go over and check out on the Experience On Demand Network. Now, those episodes are exclusive to XOD, so if you want to, you know, get a peek into Mara's way day by day, Mara's product reviews, some of those episodes are on YouTube, but it's, it's about to get real exclusive in this piece, so you better... What are you doing? You know, don't wait to subscribe. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> so this video today is actually going to be centered around <laughs> this guy. Say hi, baby. Okay, so today we're actually doing a video um, centered around the baby questions. Ooh questions that I um, have gotten I posted on my Instagram story to ask me any questions that you guys may have also look at this tea <laughs> this is the art mama tea from art mom project make sure you follow them on Instagram support them all that good stuff so these questions are actually from a little bit ago but we're gonna answer them today honestly I was supposed to do another video like a baby registry unboxing and everything didn't get to do it because it was a whole bunch of drama and I'll tell you guys about that one later <laughs> but today I'm gonna answer some of those questions so let's get into the video so question number one what is your baby's name this little guy right here his name is baby K I want to kind of keep him safe um, the internet is a very large, very scary place. Um, for now, he is Baby K. That's his name. His name is Baby K. So the next question is, have you come up with baby names? So at the time, um, me and his father were actually going back and forth a little bit. Like, what are we about to name this kid? I came up with a few he came up with like two and I was just like none of this seems right like it just doesn't seem right so he finally said a name and I was like mm. I'm like okay I don't I don't know if that's the one but I'll think about it um he went through like one or two name changes I I he has his middle name though his middle name is soul s-o-l so essentially he came up with baby k's first name and i did the middle name and his last name is a hybrid of the two i just thought it was really important for him to keep his last name like we'll keep my that's his last name ho is just like there's just so much strength in my family name and it was so funny because someone on twitter was like because i had expressed the same sentiment right is it like low-key blew me i was like it's not gonna be your last name so i don't know why you worry about it so i was like if i'm marrying you just know i'll never drop poe like you high key might, might want to add it to your name and someone replied like nah shorty lol i'm like that's okay shorty you just don't know the power behind my name like my family's name is so powerful like we put in that work and he's like so your man's last name just has to be more powerful say no more lol and i'm like it's not about him it's about i love my family name and the power behind it guess what if will smith proposed to me tomorrow well maybe not tomorrow i gotta get to know you a little bit first will smith if will smith was to propose to me i would be samara poe smith obama oh Hey, Mrs. Poe Obama. They're both married though. I'm just using them as examples. Okay, moving on. So the next question was, when did you notice your body was changing? Um, physically, well, I knew, I, I knew, I knew I was pregnant like a week after I had gotten pregnant. <laughs> Cause I just, I just knew, I just knew. Then I took a test and it was like, yup. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. When did I notice my body, uh, my body actually starting to change? I don't know, when was it? When was it? 
Um, so I noticed my body actually starting to change probably around three months is when I noticed, but nobody noticed. Nope. Some people still don't know that I was even pregnant, which is so funny. I, I announced it on my birthday. Like I did this really funny Facebook live stream called 21 Shots. I pretended that I was taking 21 shots or whatever, but then at the end I revealed like everything it's really freaking funny so if you want to go check that out the link is also going to be in the description box but um i noticed my body changing probably around two months no not two months like three months three months honestly is when i started to get the little the little belly bump but again like i camouflaged it so well that nobody knew legit until i told them and you could really like I was still doing fashion shows like honey I was on the runway I was still modeling taking photos like you 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 could not stop this pregnant mama I finally told people uh, it was month six December and some people still didn't even know until after I gave birth they were like wait what <laughs> you're pregnant what we've been We've been working alongside each other for like the past year. What are you talking about? Okay, um, are you getting married soon? No! Boy, girl, he is a boy. He's a little baby boy. A little baby boy. Any goals for 2019? Um, I do kind of have goals for 2019, but they're like kind of like loose goals. Like I just kind of want to structure my life get my life funny uh mostly i just want to be a great mom honestly because he he is the most important thing in my life right now um making sure he's okay making sure he's getting what he needs making sure he is learning and reaching all his milestones and just loving on my baby making sure he knows that i love him and that he's the best thing to have oh no best thing to happen to me <laughs> really trying to rock this mom thing and i'll be honest with you like it has been difficult at some points but i mean i expected it to be difficult so it's like it's not hard it's just like it's a little challenging but honestly he's kind of a chill baby like we'd be cooling <laughs> watch this <laughs> whoosh <laughs> whoosh that's so funny huh <laughs> other goals for 2019 are really just again to keep rocking this mom thing but also to just keep working keep producing content um keep moving forward i i haven't slacked on producing content but i've slacked on producing my own content because of course under arson productions booked and busy what you talking about make sure y'all go follow arson productions by the way that's my production company so y'all need to go go do that but um, I am still producing content, still editing videos, videography, photography, but it's more so producing other people's content and not so much mine. Um, other goals for 2019, just again, just keep moving forward to speak more in love, to speak more in abundance, to embrace my truth, dispense light, just spread some love and positivity in this world, honestly. And I feel like I've been doing that. I feel like I've been just way more positive, way more loving. I've been praying every single day, multiple times a day, actually, just speaking good energy into the universe, to God, trying to take care of myself a little bit better. And I think, I think I'm doing pretty well, honestly. I'm in my fourth trimester right now. He's three and a half months old at this point, and I'm just time to go. Okay, so now moving on to the next part. I also posted a big yawn. Big yawn. I posted another story, asked another question. Okay, so what do you guys want to know now that you that he done popped out? <laughs> um. Oh really? Is that true, man? I just want to know. Okay. The first question is, what are the top three things to expect from labor and delivery? Um, top three things: chaos. I'm just kidding. Literally, everybody's. Mm, everybody's birth experience is different isn't that right so with mine um i'm actually i'm gonna do a labor and delivery story time i guess and 
so mine was actually really quick like i was i was in labor for maybe two hours um and i labored in bed and then when i actually i was like no it's coming it's time i was like is this it is this, this is really it oh my god when i got there we got to the wrong entrance it was just it was just crazy but basically when i got my butt in that bed i delivered in 11 minutes See, the big thing is though like it just depends on your decisions when you're about to give birth like i chose to do a natural birth which means no painkillers no um what's it called no epidural no epidural none of that stuff and they kept asking me like are you sure you don't want to are you sure and i'm like no 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 i don't want it well i didn't do all of that but basically i was just like no don't want any medications just help me push this baby out and so Everyone's labor and delivery experience is different. Not everyone, but pain is, is a big thing. But honestly, I was also feeling like an adrenaline rush. I was excited to meet my little boy. And, um, but, but the pain. Honestly, those contractions may have been the worst thing. I've Whoa! Where are you going? Those contractions may have been the worst thing like I probably felt in my life. That was that was that was that was crazy okay and it was so funny because I had a conference call that I had to be on for my job and like my boss was in the chat like it's smart po like where are you at and I'm like oh my god I'm about to get birth I'm like I'm trying to get on this call because on those calls we make money too so I was trying to log into the call while I'm going while I'm laboring like I'm like I still gotta get this coin this boy is always hungry normalized breastfeeding honey okay get with it but honestly it depends on how much you prepare for it too um if you go in with no preparation you don't really know you didn't do the research you don't like really gauge where your level of pain may be like you don't mentally prepare yourself for it you are probably gonna have a chaotic feeling um birthing experience if everything is going as planned essentially you know there's always a chance that something could happen. It has to be an emergency C-section or you just weren't just weren't ready yet. So, but I feel mental preparation is the is one of the biggest things in going into your labor and delivery experience. Like, yeah. The third thing that you should really expect from this experience is so much love. If you really wanted your child, overwhelming feelings of love for your child. That was my my biggest thing was just like I just wanted to hold him and hug him and love him and keep him close to me. Yeah, like, man. but go to 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 so I guess those are the top three kind of things I don't know everybody's experience is just so different okay how goes motherhood hope to see you soon motherhood is great just the amount of love and support not just family and friends but like the amount of even social media support too like it's 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 honestly it's crazy it really is just how many people are actually reaching out to check on me, to check on how the baby's doing. I heard so much about like, well just be, just prepare yourself because once the baby is born, it's not about you anymore. Um, nobody cares about you, they just care about the baby. And I'm just like, what? But I ha honestly, I honestly haven't experienced that. Um, everybody has really been like, just checking in on me, making sure I'm doing good, my mental is doing good making sure he's doing great and developing well too. So I haven't really felt that personally, the, the gratitude that I have for everybody. Like motherhood itself has just been such a rewarding experience and it's gone by so quickly already. Like he's only three and a half months old, but I'm just like, I, I feel like I had you like two days. No, no, no. I feel like I had you like a month ago though honestly so like, i just don't know how he's getting so big he's about to be four months already ah! he's my sunshine and motherhood is difficult but rewarding and so so fun like i'm showing him the world everywhere i go i carry you always you know 
know, I keep him strapped to me. We experience the world together, you know. I slowed down a little bit, of course, because I was like here and there and here and there. But now I'm like here and there and here and there. Waking up to him every morning is one of the most beautiful experiences that I get to live every single day. It's like, it's the greatest thing. Now he's like kicking his legs to start crawling, he'll like do like a weird wiggle bear crawl kind of thing. He's talking, well he's not like talking, talking, but I swear he's in mama. But like we'll be having conversations, like you know, and it's just, I'm sorry, I'm blathering on, but I could really go on all day about this little guy. How blissful is motherhood? Blissful, now that's a question. Blissful, it's it's pretty blissful too. It's it's yeah, I get peace sometimes, and sometimes there's peace in just us laying there looking at each other, you know, and like me holding him, carrying him around with me. But it's, I mean, it don't get me wrong, there is some chaos too. Some days he just he cries, you know, and normally I can read his cues really well, so he normally doesn't cry for long, but um, like when he's crying. Oh my god, car rides. It's actually getting a little bit better, don't get me wrong. But like if he's in, he, when he's in that back seat and it's just me, like, he'll just cry and cry and cry. And I'm just like, come on, we just got 10 more minutes to the next destination. And so it gets a little crazy chaotic, but you know, blissful. <laughs> yeah. Next question is, how does it feel to give birth to a young king? Simba. Very beautiful and so empowering. I take so much power and pride in being a woman. Like I feel like I've been inducted again into like this new tribe of like really just badass women taking care of their little ones, turning them into amazing little humans. I, I will never be a black man, you know? And that's why he has his father. That's why he has the role models within both of our families that are men, you know? He's, he's, he's not short of amazing black men. Okay, so, sorry y'all, my camera died. Like I was saying before, so he is not short of black men. Um, in his life great examples of how men should be raising a young king a king in the making um it's i'm not gonna lie it is it feels not stressful but just like i worry you know um just because of i, I know how this world is going to try to treat him as a young black man and I just, already my heart aches for, for him having to grow up in a world that sees the color of his skin as a weapon, as a tool of oppression. So I'm gonna make sure he knows not to be a victim, not to feel bad because of who he is, who he was born as, the color of his skin. Again, I'm a black woman. I will raise my young black man, my little black boy, the best that I can to be loving, to be in balance with himself, in tune with who he is, his masculine energy, his feminine energy, to be a beacon of light for other people, to push joy and love into this world, but also to be strong, to, to understand that he holds power, that he doesn't have to fall victim, like just toxic masculinity where he can't show his emotions and where he isn't mansplaining you feel me and where he can feel comfortable speaking up about things that uh, god forbid happened to him but being able to speak up about his experiences without being called a sissy or a wuss or any of that bull crap that does, just doesn't make no any sense how does it feel it feels empowering it feels heavy but it feels good because I just I feel like I can make sure he knows that he is loved he can show love and to be comfortable within himself I have just like one or two more questions that I'm going to answer and maybe the other ones I'll save for like another video or something this 
next question is I'm not answering that one. Do I know my baby father? Yes. Like what? Anyways. I wonder would y'all ask that same question to hey, my name was Bunny McKay. My name was Bunny McKay. So this next question. Oh uh, this next question was how do I deal with being um well, really, the question says, how do I deal with being a single mother um, still in school and everything? And I'm, I'm so let me say this, regardless of my relationship with his father, whether we're together, not together, we're just friends, like any of that kind of stuff, parenting him, like I don't consider myself a, like a single mother, if that makes sense. Because I feel like you're a single mother if you're doing it without the help of the father. Like, that's what it is, in my opinion. He is full-on baby K. So that's not really, like, I don't consider myself a single mother, whether I am actually dating or not. You feel me? So, having him and being in school. Oh, boy. This, this was... Yeah, okay. I had him on the Saturday after we started spring break. So this and it was a day before his first expected due date. So he came he 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 knew when he was coming, honey, okay. And so I had him for a week. After that week I went straight back to classes and I was I was carrying him to and from class every day. Well every day that I had class. So you feel me like I just know like I, I came back to school because I had taken a semester off to work and to just make money and all that stuff but I knew that I had to continue my education so as soon as I found out um, that I was pregnant with him I was like you know what I'm going back to school um, I'm not about to take another semester off like I have to keep going I have to follow my dreams because I'm in film school and so honestly this semester was really tough I almost did not make it y'all but within my film program the, the mopix program motion picture um i you have to get reviewed basically by the teachers the staff and everything to see if they want you to move on to the next level so maybe if your grades weren't the best they'll do like a review session for you see if maybe the work that you're producing like the actual content and stuff like maybe you aren't doing well with tests but your content that you're producing your movies your work is it's kind of speaking for itself they're gonna just try to make it work like i couldn't show up to every single class just because it was just it was hard i'm not gonna lie it was kind of hard i was not the best at tests especially history class the work that i produced the short films um that i worked on and produced and directed or shot or like the stuff that i made with my group shout out to pork too you already should know what it is also go check out my sh ah! that too the spit up is honestly it's just so funny because he does it at like just the funniest moments and it's like you can burp this little boy until you're sure that there's nothing there and he will still spit spit spitty yeah that's you so tip for new moms always have wipes on hand like your wipes need to be right here next to you or right there or uh underneath the couch but um so anyways being in school with him yeah it was difficult but because just my teachers staff they saw how dedicated I was to the program how much I I wanted to create just create movies create film content that mattered that said something they looked at my grades looked at my circumstances and they were just kind of like well we're surprised that you came back at all like you just had a child and you were back in a week like you're still putting out good work and so I finally got my letter back and I was accepted into the second year of the program. Oh, what's up? And I did it all with this little boy because of this little boy. Like he is the reason, you know? So I'm about to enter into my second year. I'm about to start taking summer school classes though. Um, actually in a few days. 
because I want to just try to get as many credits as I can out of the way. Technically, I'm a junior in college, but this this being in this program, it makes you start out from the beginning um, with those credits. So I'm going to be in school for another three years, automatically. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But there is also daycare centers and stuff that I'm I may take him to. It kind of just just kind of depends. I'm still kind of looking around just because I'm not like, I'm not excited to take him to a daycare center. Like, if it was up to me, he'd be strapped on me. You feel me? But sometimes it's not the best environment when he's cooing and he um, starts to cry a little bit like in classes and stuff. So that's how we're going to try to handle things. But if... if my son is going to be anything like me, he's going to be so freaking angry. I don't know, like of course things have changed, things are different, but at the same time, I'm still doing what I already have been setting out to do. I just have him with me. Thank you for keeping up with me and my little family. Subscribe to my channel, okay? Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to this YouTube channel, but also make sure you subscribe to my Experience On Demand channel. We black owned, honey. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. All right, link is in the description box. That way you can check out the exclusive vlog series, Mara's Way Day by Day on there. And also some other like specials and behind the scenes stuff that you can catch over there too. Follow us on social media <laughs> at the Samara Po um, on Instagram and Twitter, the Samara Po on Facebook, you know, just search for my name. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. 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 Boom. Do go do go do. Boom. Do go do go do. Boom. Do go do go do.